Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm Coach Trevor with LWStrength.com. Today we have a bodyweight blast workout for you guys. Now, these workouts are awesome if you want to get a killer workout just using your body weight or if you don't have any equipment. Now, in today's workout, the only time we're going to slightly cheat on that rule is during our mid-workout mix-up where you do have an option to use a jump rope if you have it. However, if you don't have a jump rope, no worries at all. We're going to show you ways to vary that movement without one. If you guys are ready, let's hop into our warm-up. We're going to start off with a side-to-side -side stretch here so our feet are right past the hip level, coming side to side, keeping those feet pointing forward. Again, a nice low stretch here. Our intervals are gonna be for one minute, doing my best to keep my posture up. Keeping my movements nice and slow here. Just getting those legs warmed up for today's class. We've got 30 seconds, now we're gonna double pulse it. So when we come down, we come down. Slight lift and right back down. So one, two and one and two here we go 15 seconds got five four three two and one all right, keeping that pace nice and slow. Coming up next, we have our oblique crunches. So we're starting off with one side. Same elbow is gonna meet up with the knee here. So we drive up and right back down. Finding your stability up and down. Now, if you're having trouble keeping this slow, feel free to keep that hand out. Another way you can make this a little bit easier for you stability-wise, grab onto a wall, grab onto a chair. Really trying to squeeze right at the center there. So the goal with this one is to keep the line of movement to the side of your body. So if you find that the knee is starting to come to the front of the body here, chances are that those hip flexors are pretty tight. So try to actively push everything to the side up and right back down. We have 15 seconds. So my body straightens out, lengthens, and together. In five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work, guys. Switching it up to the other side. We got the same thing. Hand comes over behind the head. Find that stability, and let's do it. Now, one side is always going to be more balanced than the other. I know this side is usually a little more unstable, but we're going to make it look good today for you guys. go even if it's just for a split second try to keep that contraction at the top for as long as you can so we're holding and right back down hold and down really squeeze and we got 20 seconds left squeeze and down just like a regular crunch except now we're coming to the side working the obliques here here we go last 10 seconds in five four three two and last one to the top down all right we're going to be picking up our tempo here still working the obliques we have an oblique twist toe tap so my elbows come close to the body we twist for a three count one two on number three opposite foot meets with the toe and extends one two three one two three so we're always gonna be switching sides here. Follow me, once you get the rhythm, feel free to start it. If you've never done this one before, it's just like tying shoes. The first time, you might be all over the place. Then the more you see this in our workouts, the easier it's gonna become. So we're keeping that core nice and stable. My posture stays straight, so I'm not leaning forward with the reach. Everything is straight here. One, two, lift. One, two, lift. Keeping that leg as straight as you can to the top. We got 10 more seconds. 
That's five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work, guys. Coming up next, we have all four punches. So our hands are up, protecting our face. Knees are soft, feet are side by side. Two center, two side, two hook, and two uppercut. When you're ready, go ahead and start that up. So we're keeping that pace a little bit faster, speeding our tempo up. Hands are always up, protecting that face here. So whatever hand isn't punching, we're not laying it down low. Everything is held high. Getting that heart rate up, getting things ready for today's body weight blast. Halfway through at 30 seconds. So two center, two side, two hooks, and two uppercuts. There we go. So we got our punching combos. After this, we're heading into some kicks. Give me 10 more, 10 more. In five, four, three, two, and one. Good work, guys. So just like with the punches, our hands are gonna be staying up with these two. We have two front kicks, two roundhouse kicks to the side, two side kicks, and two back kicks to the back of the room, leaning forward to get the kicks nice and high. So front, round, side, and back kicks. So find your stability with this. Again, keep those hands up. Front kick, we're kicking with the ball of the feet. Roundhouse, we're kicking with the shoelace part. Side kicks, blade of the foot. And back kick, getting nice and low, driving up. Now once you have the kicks, and only once you have the kicks, that's when you could add some speed to these movements here. We got 10 more seconds. In five, four, three, two, and one. All right, guys, nice work. Let's bring it back to the basics here. We're gonna bring that heart rate up. If it's not already going, we got our jumping jacks to finish off our warm up. Get ready in three, two, and one. So get those hands all the way overhead. Even if you're modifying this one, the hands are moving quick just with those feet. We're halfway through at 30 seconds. Whew. And that's 15. Coming up in five. Four, three, two, and pause. All right, guys, awesome work. Feel free to grab a quick drink of water, then we're gonna be hopping into round number one, coming up next. All right, guys, heading into round number one, and we're gonna be starting off nice and strong. Knees are soft, hands are up. We have four jabs with two elbow strikes. So we go one, two, three, four, Hand grabs the fist, twist for one, twist for two, pivoting off the feet. So if you're ready for it, let's do it in three, two, and one. So one, two, three, four, twist, twist. So make those twists fast and powerful for the strikes, moving off those feet. So you want the whole body to move. We're not staying still like this, we're twisting side to side. One, two, one, two, three, four, twist, pow. There we go. Hands coming right back up to the face when we're coming for the jabs. We're past the halfway point. I know we're starting with a bang today.
Now we're controlling the strikes. We're stopping straight ahead. We're not going too far and too far this way. We're controlling it. So right to the center here. One, two, three, four. Control, control, and pause. All right, guys. We're gonna be heading down to the ground. We got our plank walks next. We're moving down. We're gonna add a push up at each end. So hands and feet start together, out, together, out, together. At the end of your room, you're giving me a push up before you switch directions. So get started when you're ready. Now, depending on how big your room is you're working with, that'll depend on how many plank walks you do before you switch directions here. Now, if you're having trouble with stability, you could always start with one leg out first. So you start together, out, together, and back. That'll give you a little more stability here. Here we go, we got 20 seconds left. Now feel free, at the end of these plank walks, if you have to bring the knees to the ground to modify that push-up, do so, and then come right back up for the walks. We got three, two, and one. Now we're building off of that plank here. Coming up next, we have our plank T rotations. So my body is nice and stable. My feet stay together. One arm staying on the ground, one arm twisting all the way up and to the center. So my whole chest is opening up and coming down. I gotta work my stability. This arm here, you might find that you start shaking. You gotta find your stability there. Center and out. Now, if those feet start out, that's gonna be a little bit easier. If you want more of a challenge on the body, slowly walk the stance in and bring those feet a little tighter together. That's gonna add even more instability to the body. Whoo, it's gonna make it even more challenging as you lift that arm up to the top. The biggest thing is you just want those feet to stay standing up. So when I twist to the side, if my feet fall to the ground like this, Chances are you wanna widen your stance a little bit. It's a little too much instability for you right now. So I widen that out, and now my feet are nice and stable. They're staying stood up like that. One more to the top and down. All right, guys, coming up next, we got our bicycle crunch. We're heading right onto our back. So we're slowing it down. Still a bicycle movement. Opposite elbow to knee. We're gonna hold it for three seconds. So we hold. One, two, three, and twist. So just like a regular bicycle kicks, but we're slowing it down. We're squeezing our core as tight as we can at the top here. So with this one, it's less of a worry of if I'm going too slow, more am I going too fast. Chances are you could always go slower with this one because we're squeezing that core nice and tight at the top here. Whoo! There we go. Now, if you're able to keep that foot elevated off the ground at the bottom, you're a superstar. If you have to take some of that tension off, feel free to bring it right back to the ground. That's all right. Just bring this knee nice and high here. Check it out. So I can bring it down, lift, bring it down, and lift. I'm still working the tension on the core. We got five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. So we're staying in that seated position. Coming up next, we have our seated side-to-side -side punches. Posture is held up high, hands are up. I'm twisting my body side-to-side, -side, throwing punches nice and quick. Get started when you're ready. Now, if you're like me, I'm not a big roller coaster guy. I get headaches pretty quick. So instead of twisting my head side to side here, I don't have to see my lunch a second time. I'm gonna face forward and look at you guys. You could do the same, but still twist that core side to side. Keep it up, keep it up. We got 30 seconds left. Now the more that body twists side to side, the tougher it's gonna be on the obliques. So instead of me punching right here, not getting too much out of the core, I'm gonna twist side to side just like this, and I feel it lighten up right away. We got 15 seconds, guys. Push through it, push through it. 
I know, we're moving quick. Last 10. We've got five, four, three, two, and pause. Nice. Use this movement here to catch your breath and recoup. We have our V-sit hold. So my hands come over my chest. Again, posture is high. I'm gonna lean back slightly, only enough so that I'm still able to keep my posture high. So here, I'll face this way so you guys can see it a little bit better. So I'm leaning to the back. My posture is still straight. I'm gonna challenge the stability on my core here. Now, once you're able to, you could lean slightly farther back, but as soon as you see that back start to arch low like this, that's when you wanna reset at the top and start again. So slowly lean back. Even if you guys are just right to here, a small lean, that's completely fine. Everybody's gonna have their own levels with this one. The key is just keeping a nice tight core. We're working our abdominals here. We got 20 seconds. Go, keeping that chest held high. Woo. We got three more coming up next. We're gonna be working the glutes in five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we're in a perfect spot. We're letting that back come right down. We have our frog pumps. This is a bridge lift variation. So the heels come together, the feet come close to the butt. I'm pushing the knees out to the side and I'm driving the butt nice and high, just like a regular bridge lift. So we're working a different part of the glutes here. So we're driving up. You're gonna squeeze for a second before you let go. Coming up and down. So you still wanna keep the core braced, you don't want the back to be arching low here. Keep things taut, right back down. We got 30 seconds. Now if at any point this movement is putting too much tension on those ankles, if you guys are coming from an ankle injury, feel free to give me a standard bridge. Like I said before, this is a bridge variation. So a different way to get a standard bridge lift in there, but doing a regular bridge, gonna be a very similar movement. We got five, four, three, two, and one. There we go. All right, guys, we got our last two driving up onto our feet. This is our scissor knee strike combo. One foot forward, one foot back. We have one knee strike, one, two scissors. Knee strike, one, two. Knee, one, two. Check out that window if you need a modification for this one. Either way, we're keeping that pace nice and quick. When I come down for the knee strike, my profile is low. I'm nice and low here. Knee, one, two, knee, one, two. Driving the hands far, driving the knee close together. In five, four, three, two, and we're gonna switch sides here. Now I'm just switching directions. I'm gonna switch sides next round for you guys. Here we go, we got it. 15 seconds left. The lower you could get this front leg when we get for the knee strike, the tougher it's gonna be. In five, four, three, two, and one. All right, guys, let's finish off round number one. We've got four jack and jabs and eight ladders. Ladders are killers. Let's do it. Jack and jabs. We have a jack, hands come up, punch. Same leg, same arm, four of them. One, two, three, four. Eight ladders. One, two, three, four, five. Here we go. Now those ladders, don't worry about how fast you're going with them. Just drive that knee nice and high here. We're up, down, up, down.
We got 10 more seconds, 10 more seconds. In three, two, and pause. Whew. All right, guys, catch that breath. That last one's a killer. That leaves that heart going crazy. We're gonna take a minute here to grab a quick drink. We're gonna be hopping into our mid-workout mix-up. This is the one I was talking about before, where if you have a jump rope, feel free to grab it. But if not, no worries at all. We're gonna have some fun next, coming up. All right, guys, we're gonna be heading into that mid-workout mix-up. So like I was hinting to before, if you do have a jump rope, this is the time to grab it. We're gonna be cheating on our body weight only routine just for a little bit, and then we're gonna hop right back into round number two. So this is gonna be a Tabata style routine. So that's 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest for eight total rounds. Now our two exercises are gonna be your jump rope and our squat knee lifts. Now, if you do have a jump rope, what you got is a standard skip. You could give me double unders, you could give me a cross. Anything to keep that heart rate going is gonna be perfect. Now, if you don't have a jump rope, the same saying goes. Anything to keep that heart rate up is perfect. So we're talking fast feet. We're talking our jacks. You guys have some creative freedom here. Whatever you know you're gonna be doing to keep that heart rate up is ideal. Now the second movement, we have our squat twist ups. So that posture is high. We come down low in the squat position. At the top, one knee is gonna lift and my upper body simply twists. Now my elbows are gonna stay low to maximize the speed for this movement. So I come down, twist, down, and twist. All right, so when I come down low, I want the weight in the feet to be evenly distributed. So I'm not gonna be leaning too far forward to where my heels come off the ground, but I'm also not leaning too far back to where I'm sitting so far back that my feet start to lift up. So it's kind of a happy medium where I'm sitting and I'm coming up and right back down. All right, so if you guys are ready, we're gonna be starting off with either that jump rope or if you don't have a rope, that jog in place, the jumping jacks, or whatever you chose to keep that heart rate going. Let's hop into it. All right, guys, let's hop into it. We got three, two, and one. Whatever you got going on, keep that heart rate nice and fast. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. Here we go. Coming up next is our squat twist ups. So again, everything stays nice and high right at the top. The upper body twists and right back to the center. Down, twist, down, twist. We got five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we're hopping right back into that rope. Keeping things moving fast here, what's Tabata's all about? 20 seconds. That's three, 
two, and one. Good. This is gonna be number four coming up next. Keep those hands held high. Three, two, one. We got 10 seconds. Keep that back nice and straight. Are you leaning forward? Are those hips coming low? Is the butt coming low? And down. Woo! Here we go. All right, let's make this one a good one. 20 seconds. In three, two, and one. Here we go. We're almost there, let's push through it. Last few rounds here. In three, two, and one. So that upper body's gonna twist at the top, elbows stay close. Five. Four, three, two, and one. All right, guys. I think this is our last two coming up. Let's make these last two our best two. Make this nice and fast, no matter what you're doing. We got five, four, Three, two, and one. All right, guys, let's finish it off. We got our squat twist ups coming up. Three, two, one. Ten seconds, ten seconds. Five. Four, three, two, last one. Nice work. Woo! There we go, guys. That is your Tabata mid workout mix up complete. We're going to run 30 seconds on the clock. I know it's a quick one, but we're doing so good today. We're going to head into round number two coming up next, starting off with our four center jabs and two elbows coming through. Get ready for it. All right, guys, hopping back into round number two. This is our last time around for each one of these exercises. We're gonna be starting off with the four jabs and two elbow strikes. So our feet are side by side, knees are soft. We're not locking everything out here. Hands are up. We go one, two, three, four. Clasp a nice tight fist, twist and rotate the body, pivoting off the foot. One, rotate, and two. Get ready for it in three, two, and one. One, two, three, four, twist, twist. Again, keeping those hands nice and high when you're not punching there. One, two. So now that you know these movements, feel free to add some more tempo to it. That first round, you're kind of getting to learn them. You're getting that technique down. Now that we know them, you can add that tempo. 30 seconds down, 30 to go. One, two. There we go, 15 seconds. Twisting, that shoulder is gonna line up right to the center of the room there. We got five, four, three, two, 
and one. Boom, there we go. We're gonna be heading down to the ground. We have our plank walks with the push up at the end. So again, it doesn't matter how big of a space you're working with, you're just gonna be plank walking either a shorter distance or a longer distance. So again, depending on the stability level you have, either the hands and the feet start together or one hand starts together and one foot starts out, giving yourself some more stability there. And that push up right at the end. Try to keep those elbows tucked close to the body. Here we go. Whoo. We're past that halfway point. We're doing good. Remember, round number two is the best round. We're marking these exercises off. Last time we're doing these ones. We got 10 seconds, 10 seconds. That's five, four, three, two, and one. All right, guys, moving off of that plank movement. This is your last planking movement today. We're gonna be starting with that plank to rotation. The closer the feet start, the tougher it becomes, the more instable the body is. So we're here. I'm gonna start with a bit of a wider stance Give my body some more stability. Reach to the ceiling, come to the center. Twisting, the chest opens up and down. So my hand that's up to the ceiling should line right up with the hand that's still on the ground. I'm not gonna be rotating the hand too far back or stopping too far forward short. Right here to the center and down. Now, if you're feeling confident with this, we're right at that halfway point. Bring that feet just a step forward closer and down. Woo! Here we go, guys. Keep it up, keep it up. Rotate and down. There we go. 10 seconds left. Hang in there. That's five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna be flipping right onto our back. Bicycle crunches, same bicycle movement as we're used to, holding each side for three seconds. Nice and slow with this one. Again, either that foot could stay on the ground for a modification like this, or elevate it. One, two, three, twist. Twist. And again, don't worry if you're going too slow. Just worry if you're going too fast here. Chances are you're speeding it up. You're like, oh my gosh, this core is on fire right now. I know, I'm in it with you. And here at the club, it's core killer week. So my core is screaming. We got 30 seconds, 30 seconds. But I'm gonna push through this round number two with you guys. We're in this together now, come on. 20 seconds left. We got five, four, three, two, and pause. Nice work, guys. Stay on that ground. Coming on up, my chest is high, posture is high as well. Hands come up, seated side to side punches. Again, look forward if you're having trouble moving side to side like this. Boom. The bigger the rotation, the more challenging it is on the core, Work in the obliques, work in the abdominals. There we go. Keep it up, twisting side to side. Now make a check right now. How's that back looking? Are you starting to slump down? I know our bodies are getting tired right now, but pick it up, straighten the posture high. 20 seconds, 20 seconds. We're flying through it, guys. Punch your way through this set. Ten seconds, ten seconds. Whoo. In five, four, three, two, 
and one. All right. This is probably the best exercise here because we're slowing it down. It still hurts the core like crazy, but this is our V-sit hold. So again, the back is straight. Hands are over the chest. Lean back only as far as you're still able to control the posture. So again, check out my back. It's nice and straight. I'm not arching like this. We're up. And again, if that gets challenging, just reset at the top and slowly come right back down. Just that slight tension, you're still working your core there. Don't think you have to lean way far back to feel this one. You got 25 seconds. Here we go, that's our last 10, last 10. In five, four, three, two, and pause. All right, we got our frog pumps coming down. That back is on the floor. Again, heels are together, keeping them close to the butt. Tension is strong in the core. Don't let that back hang low. Drive the butt nice and high up. Hold and release. Now remember your option if those ankles are starting to act up with this one. It's a more of a challenging movement, but you could always come back to that bridge if you need to. We're at 30 seconds, 30 seconds down, 30 to go. We're almost there. We got our last two exercises coming up. Ten seconds. In three, two, and pause. Awesome work, guys. Let's head up onto our feet. Shake everything out. We got our knee strike scissor combo. So getting nice and low. I started with one side last time. I'm going to switch it up. Driving the knee up. One, two, right back to it. In three, two, and let's do it. Knee strike, one, two, knee, one, two. Remember, the lower you get when we got the knee strike, the tougher it's gonna be with this one. Keep it up, 20 seconds. We got five, four, three, two, and one. All right, guys, we're moving in. We got four jack and jabs. Eight ladders. Get ready for it. Last one here. Big deep breath in. Right back out. Three, two, and one. Jack for one. Two, three, eight high knees. Here we go. Keep things moving here. I know, I know. Last exercise. It's a tough one. Why the heck is it the last one? Find that last bit of energy you have and focus on your movements. Focus on getting it done. 15 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, 
and one. Whoo. One more time. Big deep breath in. And out. Nice work, guys. I'm going to give you 30 seconds here. Recoup that breathing. Get it back to normal. We got some stretches for you guys. We're going to be heading down to the ground to start those off. Coming up next. All right, guys, we are back. We're gonna be cooling it down, heading down to the ground here. Go ahead and take a seat, extending those legs to the side. First and foremost, those hands are gonna be coming forward. Nice big stretch down the center here. Just gonna be holding that stretch, trying to keep the legs nice and straight. If you can, try to avoid the bend of the knees there. So don't worry about how far forward you could push the hands. Just try to focus on keeping the legs extended. Good, now coming right back up. We're gonna do that same movement, but now my back is gonna remain straight. So you're gonna notice you're not gonna be able to come as low. You're gonna feel more of the hamstrings light up sooner than you would if you were arching the back. So now my back is nice and straight. I'm gonna lean forward. Now notice this is as far as I could go here. Can't go too much farther. Keep that back as straight as you can. And reach nice and far. So this is another one, you're gonna feel those hip flexors stretching out here. At three, two, and one. Good, coming back. Now those feet are gonna come together. We're gonna be doing the same thing. First stretch, that back is gonna fold. Second stretch, that back is gonna remain straight. So here we go. Reaching as far as you can. Coming right back up to the top. Keep that back nice and straight, coming forward. Now once again, see I'm able to reach my toes when that back bends, but now with a straight back, I'm not even making it to the top there. But I'm feeling those hamstrings light up a little bit sooner than I was before. Good, and release that tension. Now you're gonna pick one leg here. We're bringing that knee up. We're gonna be twisting to the inside, elbows coming to the outside of the knee. Straight posture, just putting slight tension as we twist. This is not a fast movement, not an aggressive movement here. Just opening that chest up to the outside. back to the center here. Same thing, that other knee is gonna come up. One hand's gonna come behind us for that support of the back to maintain that straight posture. Other hand comes forward. Again, just slight tension. At any point, this is getting you some low back pain. Chances are that back is folding down. So you wanna really emphasize a straight posture here. and back to the center. One more time before we come up, let that body come down. Good. And when you're ready, at your own pace, coming up, we're gonna be picking one arm nice and slow, come in front of the chest. That same arm is gonna be coming overhead here. 
we're gonna reach down as far down the back as we can, applying some pressure and tension right to that elbow to push down here. Should feel some tension right over the tricep muscle. Extending those arms, other arm coming in front. Once again, that arm comes overhead, nice big stretch. Good. Coming down to the center, bring that chin to the chest. Last but not least, big head rotation. Take it nice and slow. Switch directions. And right to the center. Give me two deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth for one. And one more. All right, guys, awesome work today. That was a pretty high intensity body weight blast for you guys today, but we kicked butt. If you made it this far through it, virtual high fives to everyone from the LW Strength Studio, and we'll see you guys next time.